register for a room, even under an assumed name, and people did that, and they were called nature guides. 65 people showed up. Also invited were legal counsel, medical docs, and an IT person. They were the only outside people, and they were there to answer questions around legal issues, health, medical, and cyber security. For the next five years, the Guild met annually and shared a wealth of knowledge. The participants offered breakout sessions on topics like screening people for session work, medicine mixology, health intake forms, brain chemistry, the role of the bad trip, plant medicines, integration, designer drugs, PTSD, indigenous rights, contemporary ceremonies, money, CPR, best practices, what to do about bad actors in the field, and Bob Jesse's powerful contribution, the Code of Ethics and the Council on Spiritual Practices. Confidentiality and trust over the years was the cornerstone until an article in uh, Rolling Stone appeared in 2016 mentioning a meeting of underground guides takes place annually in California. The next gathering was a month away and an emergency meeting was called and the current committee decided it was time to stop. Confidentiality and trust had been broken. Jim Fadiman's book, The Psychedelic Explorer's Guide, and his manual, Meeting the Divine Within, both 13 years old now, are worth quoting and paraphrasing. He said, the mission of the Guild of Guides was and is to support highly prized experiences, prized experiences such as non-dual consciousness and primary mystical experience. The Guild exists as a fellowship, Membership is a state of mind only, but that state of mind absolutely requires guild members to have relevant training or experience and to be committed to the code of ethics for spiritual guides. Jim stated that the guild of guides are anonymous practitioners who have been conducting sessions during the war on psychedelic drugs that has been going on now for 60 plus years. The valuable experience of these practitioners is rarely heard in the current public conversation. The media focuses much of their attention on the FDA trials that are seeking psychedelic prescription medications to treat hard cases. Jim said the reality is most psychedelic explorers are seeking an expansion of consciousness and not the treatment of a pathology. The use of psychedelics for the betterment of well people, to use Bob Jesse's term, in no way diminishes the healing power of these medicines for PTSD, anxiety, depression, addiction, and other diagnosable conditions. There are people here who are living, breathing proof of profound healing. The idea of the betterment of well people moves the focus from our personal psychology and psychologizing to the spiritual alchemicalizing of the transpersonal experience. The psychological aspects of the individual, the self-narrative story we tell ourselves, is often healed, transformed, and transcended when faced with a transpersonal experience that takes the individual out of the me and into the collective core consciousness of a unified field where we are all one with everything. Yeah?